Hello, this is going to be a quick unboxing and overview video of the Vilrose keyboard and touchpad hub for the Raspberry Pi, which supports the Raspberry Pi 3 models B and B+, as well as the new Raspberry Pi 4 model B. Diving into the package content, we find a baggie with a tool, screws, warranty card, and instructions. The bottom lid has ventilation louvers as well as a hatch to access the Raspberry Pi's memory cards when it is installed in the case. Here's the wireless dongle. This is a 2.4GHz wireless keyboard and not Bluetooth. Here's the lid for the battery compartment which is contained inside the actual case. A little strange. Here's the fan, which is very similar to the one in the Canna kits. Has the standard terminal connectors for the Raspberry Pi voltage pinouts. There's also a little cubby meant for the dongle, but as you can see, it fits loosely in there, and I will explain why in a few moments. Although I have not yet tried the keyboard, it does have some really nice tactile feedback, especially for being such a low-profile keyboard. And up here in the upper right corner of the keyboard case, you can find a little hatch, which is actually for the keyboard's on and off switch. And there's a reason behind this, which I will also explain in a few moments. Looking back inside the case, we see here the reason why the dongle cubby doesn't really hold the dongle properly, and that's because the battery compartment lid extends all the way and protects the dongle as well. And here we solve the mystery of why the on and off switch is inside a compartment, and that's because this is actually two pieces. It is a keyboard that Vilrose sells on its own. The bottom compartment that holds the Raspberry Pi is held onto the case with the provided screws, as you can see here. Looking at the case from different angles, it is very easy to see the design inspirations drawn from the Commodore computer line. As I mentioned earlier, despite the keys being fairly shallow, they have a good amount of tactile feedback, and they also make a fairly audible clicky noise when actuated. The keyboard contains a full set of keys, including function keys all the way through F12, as well as media control buttons. And the touchpad contains heart buttons, which is a nice and welcome addition. Stay tuned for an upcoming episode where I will review this case in depth alongside an 8GB Raspberry Pi 4. Hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching.